What's up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This is your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before I get going on today's video, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, share the video, turn on your notifications, and if you want me on the panel, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email address. But without further ado, let's get it popping and get into today's video. And today, we got our second fight prediction of the day, man. We got our second fight prediction of the day, and this one we got Richard Reactpar versus Christoph Twardowski. Twardowski. Twardowski, the homie from Poland, bro. They fighting. 10-round cruiserweight fight. I'm going to do the fight prediction, but before I do live show, every Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time, y'all come join your boy Knockout Boxing for a fun night of boxing talk, bro. I promise y'all it's going to be fun, man. We have a good time over here, so 7.30 Wednesday night, man. Y'all come through and hang out with your boy. And don't forget about our other live show that we do with the Singing OG, KQKC Boxing Network. Every Sunday morning, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, we switch platforms. So y'all be sure to subscribe to KQKC Boxing Network so you can know when we going live on his channel and when we'll be live on my channel. This upcoming Sunday, we're going to be live on his channel. So y'all go subscribe to KQKC Boxing Network. But back to the prediction, man. Richard React Paul versus Christoph. Twardowski, Twardowski, Christoph Twardowski, bro. Richard React Park out of the UK, Orthodox fighter, six foot five, thirty one years old, seventy seven inch reach, eleven and zero record with eight knockouts, including knocking out eight of his last ten. But in his last two fights, they both went to the decision, but he still won. He's on a two year layoff, bro. He's on a two year layoff, so that could play a factor in this fight. And then you got the homie Christoph Twardowski. Six foot two, 78 inch reach, fighting out of Poland. Orthodox fighter, 25 years old, the younger fighter. Nine and two record. Fighting styles. Richard React, Paul. I like some stuff about him. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. He fights behind his jab, number one. More importantly, he switches levels with his jab. He switches levels with his jab. He'll jab you to the body, jab you up top. And the jab is nice. The jab will score points. But what he's really trying to do with that jab is set up a thunderous ass right hand. Because let me tell you, the man has eight knockouts in his 11 professional fights because the right hand is nasty, bro. Whether it's coming at you straight and he also throws it as like this looping overhand hookish type of punch. It's nasty, bro. If it catch you, it can hurt you, bro. If it catch you, it can and it will hurt you. And he's been in there with some his his last two decisions, Jack Massey and Chris Billum Smith. Like they ain't world class, like world champion level cruiserweights, but they are top level domestic fighters, bro. They're top level UK fighters. So he's been in there with some good competition, and he hurt the shit out of Jack Massey, who's a very tough fighter, who's very good, but everything. That react part does is to set up that thunderous ass right hand. One thing I don't like, his hands do seem to be low, but he does have pretty good head movement. So he don't get caught with a lot of shit flush. But his hands are low, and his guard is kind of loose defensively. And also on the inside, he's been off for two years. So I want to see if he gotten better on the inside. Because the react part that I remember watching, and that I went back and studied film on from his last three fights... When you get in the inside on him, he just try to clinch, bro. He want to clinch on the inside, get the ref to break up the action so he can get back to doing what? Boxing from a distance, setting up the jab, coming with the right hand, bro. Setting up the jab, coming up the right hand. Jab going to hit you in the body, jab going to hit you up top, that right hand coming. And he got power in the left hand, too. Don't get it twisted. He'll throw some left hooks in there to the body up top. He got power in both hands, but the, the danger punch, the punch that'll put your lights out for him, is that right hand. Now, Krzysztof Chodorski out of Poland, bro. The Polish homie. 9-2 and two record with six knockouts. His fighting style. A lot of y'all be like, Anthony Joshua is robotic. Right? But you go watch Chodorski fight. 
Trudorsky make Anthony Joshua look like Floyd Mayweather in terms of how fluid he is. Trudorsky literally, bro, is a robot in that ring. But he got good power. But he like, put him up. Put him up, jab, right hand. Put him up, bro. Put him up, jab, right hand, right here. Guard is low. Guard is wide open. Um, but he got good power. So if he catch you with something flush, he could hurt you. Um, but he's stiff, bro. He's very stiff in the ring. Like, his knee, like, his legs are straight. He don't really have no bend in his legs and shit when he walks in. He just, he ain't very athletic, bro. And I'm telling y'all right now, this fight is a damn setup, bro. Look, path to victory for Trudorsky. He doesn't have a path. I'm not going to hold y'all. I'm going to get it out the way. I'm picking Richard React Paw, bro. I'm picking Richard React Paw by knockout. I think he comes back in thunderous fashion, bro. I think this is tailor-made set up for him to get the knockout with the right hand, bro, so he can look good and continue his career and climb his way back to the top since he's been out, out of the ring for a while, bro. And typically, I wouldn't pick fighters on two-year layoffs, bro. If the fight was close, if, if, if they had equal skills and similar skills, I'd probably go with the fighter that's been more active. But I'm pretty comfortable picking the fighter that's had a two-year layoff in this fight because this dude, Twardorski, man, he tailor-made, bro. He don't move his head at all. He don't move his head at all. His hands are low. And react par is sudden, bro. He's a sudden fighter. He'll be jabbing and then boom, right hand, bro. I don't think Trudorski going to be able to get out the way of it. I don't think he even going to see it coming, bro. I don't even think he's going to see it coming. I got react par by knockout. I got him by knockout round. Round five? It's a 10-round fight. Round five. Round five, maybe it'll catch him a while to catch um, Twardorski. But don't be surprised if he don't catch him early, bro. Because, see, that's the other thing about Twardorski. Like, I'm all for, you know, my, my brothers and sisters in Poland. But he ain't really fought nobody outside of Poland. And for all the stuff that, that some of us American fight fans, all the jokes we make about the UK. But they're, they're kind of farm system, if you want to call it that. They're amateur system. They're, um... Their professional domestic level system is much better than that of Poland. And I just don't think that Trudorski's had anyone like React Par in front of him. I don't think he's had anybody like React Par in front of him to prepare him for that. But I believe Chris Billum Smith is better than Trudorski. React Par stood in front of him, handled him well. I believe Jack Massey is better than Trudorski. React Par stood in front of him, handled him as well. So he's prepared and he has experience against this level of fighter, if not a higher level of fighter, bro. So I think he gonna, Trudorsky going to be food for him. And he going to knock Trudorsky out. And he going to be like, I'm back, y'all. I'm back. All my cruiserweight people, I'm back. I think that's what this is. It's going to be a statement that says, I'm back for Richard React part, bro. So I got him by knockout round five. Wouldn't be surprised if it happened sooner. Like, don't be surprised if we get a round one, round two, round three knockout, bro. Don't be surprised. Because, I, I honestly, this is my honest assessment, bro. I believe it comes down to not if React Par is going to land the right hand. I think it's going to come down to when is he going to land the right hand and how many does it take. Does Trudarski have a chin and it takes a little bit more right hands? Does he not have a chin and he gets starched by the first one or the second one that hits him? That's what I think it's going to come down to, bro. How many right hands can Trudarski take? That's the question of this fight. Not who gonna win, because I'm telling y'all who gonna win. React poor. Pick them. I'm telling y'all. But y'all let me know who y'all picking, man. Comment down below. Smash the like. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. If you want me on the panel, you should know the email by now. Knockoutbox86 at yahoo.com is the email. Follow me on Twitter. At KOBox86 TV is the Twitter handle. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out of here. Peace, y'all.